in the coming video we're gonna do a nice yoga session to open up, relax and strengthen mind and body. So come into a standing position. We're going to start off with loosening up the wrists and opening up the respiratory system. On the inhalation, bring the arms up as you rotate the hands, reaching all the way up to the ceiling. Full inhalation, stretching out. And on the exhalation, rotating the hands as you bring the arms down again. And again, bringing the arms up, rotating the hands, loosening up the wrists. Full inhalation, stretching out. And again down. We're going to do this one more time. It's about six or seven rotations for the breath in, reaching up, and about six or seven rotations down as you exhale. Then stretch the body out completely, lifting, coming up onto the tiptoes, reaching with the fingertips to the ceiling, reaching up, take a couple of full deep breaths, and then interlocking the fingers, coming to the left side, exhaling, inhaling, coming back up, exhaling to the right side, inhaling back up, reaching out, exhaling the other side. And keep the buttocks engaged as you do this. For the last two full breaths. Exhaling, reaching out. Inhaling, lengthening out. And slowly on the exhalation, bring the arms down. Then again, breathing in, bring the arms up. Reaching out, lean back a little bit. And on the breath out, bring the arms down again. Stretching the body out, coming on the tiptoes. So breathing in as you bring the arms up, holding the right with the left. Leaning back, keep strengthening, lengthening out. Breathing out slowly, exhaling completely, opening up the chest, the hands down. Keep breathing like this. In, lengthen, lean back, keep engaging the buttocks. And breathing out, coming down, and lengthening, and opening up the chest. In, openness, and out completely. Chest open, shoulder blades together. And relax for a couple of breaths. Loosen up the shoulders a bit. Rotate them. Keep your breathing calm. And placing the hands in the sides and we're gonna open up the neck a bit with deep full breathing. On the breath out, the chin is down. On the breath in, we roll the head to the left. Breathing out, the chin comes down. Breathing in, rolling the head to the right. And like this, we open up the neck. And if the neck feels okay, you can start making complete circles. Only if the neck feels okay, try to keep the neck long as you do this. With full deep breaths. In both directions. Opening up the neck and the shoulders. Become aware of all these different muscles. And 
relax with the arms down. And come down onto the hands and the knees. The knees directly underneath the hips, the hands about shoulder width apart. Then on the inhalation, hollow the spine and bring the head up. On the exhalation, press the arms into the ground, round the spine. Inhaling, hollowing the spine. Exhaling, stretching out completely like a cat. Cat and cow stretch. So full, deep breathings here to really open up lengthen the spine and oxygenate the body. Hollowing completely and rounding, pressing the arms really into the ground, using the full surface of the hands. The last three full deep breaths. Then the last full inhalation, exhalation. Make use of this last full breath, opening up completely and coming back to the center again. And we're going to make these movements a bit bigger. So tiger stretch. Bring the left leg up, reaching with the left foot up almost towards the back side of the head and reaching with the right arm up as we fully inhale breathing out we bring the elbow into the chest the knee into the chest breathing out breathing in reaching up with the left leg and the right arm up and breathing out engaging the belly muscles squeezing everything out so keep breathing like this for five more breaths as if you're opening up completely and then squeezing everything out, rounding the spine. Full deep breaths. Lengthening and opening up. And then squeezing, tightening everything. The last two full deep breaths. Wonderful. Last exhalation and come back again to the center. Relax the wrist maybe a little bit. And then doing the same for the other side. The right leg up, full inhalation. Exhaling, tightening and squeezing, clenching the left hand into a fist. And keep breathing like this for six more full deep breaths. Really opening and lengthening out with the inhalation and closing and squeezing everything on the exhalation, tightening. This is a wonderful pose to really open up and strengthen the whole spine into Increase the blood flow in the body, oxygenate the body. Last two full breaths. After your last exhalation, come back to the center and then bring the buttocks back with the big toes together to relax the spine reaching with the arms forward relax the arms onto the ground relax the forehead onto the ground and really loosening up with each breath
two more deep breaths. And slowly bringing the buttocks up so that you can come into what's called a downward dog position, pressing with the hands, the buttocks into the sky, reaching out, walk the legs a bit out, opening up the whole backside of the body. We're gonna start making some movements. On the next exhalation, come forward into what's called an upward dog, bring the head up, breathing in, Bring yourself into a downward dog again. Breathing out, coming forward, lengthening the spine out. Breathing in, a downward dog position. Now keep breathing like this. So on the breath in, the buttocks are pressed out and up. And on the breath out, you're lengthening out the spine, opening up the front side of the body, the chest. Try to keep breathing deeply like this for the last three full inhalations, exhalations. As if with your breathing, you're opening up the back side of the body and then the front side of the body. Wonderful. After your last breath out, come sit down on the knees for a couple of breaths and Take a little moment to feel what's happening in the body. Relax your breathing. Enjoy two more deep breaths. And then coming up onto the knees. With the knees about hip width apart, the hands just underneath the buttocks. On the breath in, we're gonna lean back and open up the front side of the body. On the breath out, lengthening the spine out, bring the chin to the chest. Breathing in, opening up the front side of the body. Breathing out, lengthening the back side of the neck out. Taking full deep breaths like this. Also to open up the front side and then the back side of the body. Ready to open up the heart area, the front side of the neck, the chest. Two more. Full deep breaths like this. Last full breath. And come down and place the hands on the floor with the head on top of the hands. Relax your breathing. Calming everything down, relaxing the spine. slowly coming back up now coming with the legs in front of you again with the breathing we're gonna strengthen and open up the body there's a little bit of distance in between the feet the hands directly next to the hips on the breath in we're gonna press the hips high up to the ceiling at the head hang back and breath out lengthen the spine out chin to the chest Breathing in, pressing up, strengthening the back, 
opening up the front side, breathing out, coming down, lengthen the spine. Breathing in, opening, strengthening. Breathing out, coming down. Last three breaths. Full inhalation. And exhalation. Full inhalation, opening up. Exhaling, coming down. Last time. Full inhalation, keep pressing up, strong back, and down. Then hold your left wrist, bring the feet a bit closer, relax your breathing, feel the sensations in the body. Relax the breathing. Wonderful. Then come down into a laying position with the legs together, the arms next to the body, hands flat on the ground. Trying to keep the legs straight as you bring the legs up on the breath in, bring the hands a little bit up, the head towards the legs. Breathing out, bring the legs down. Breathing in, legs up, press the heels up into the ceiling, the head up. Breathing out, coming down. Breathing in, legs up, arms up, heads up. Coming down. So keep breathing like this. If this becomes a bit too heavy, you can keep your knees bent if you bring them up. But then straighten the legs out, bend the knees again and bring them down. Keep breathing like this for the last three full breaths. Breath in, straightening out, head a bit up, tightening the belly. Last breath in. And relax down into the ground for some breaths. Feel in the belly area how you've strengthened the area there. As if there is a fire burning, bringing heat into the rest of the body. Calm down the breath. And the last asana that we're gonna do is a nice twist for the spine with relaxed, calm breathing. Bring the arms out to the sides with the hands flat on the ground. Bring the left foot on top of the right knee and the right hand on the left knee. On the breath out, make a twist with the spine. We bring the left knee to the right side. Turn the head to the left. And take a couple of deep, slow breaths here. Loosen up with each breath. Slowly bring yourself back again. Straighten the legs out. And then doing the same with the other side. The right foot on the left knee, the left hand on the right knee. Take a deep breath in and the breath out. Making a nice twist. 
turning the head to the left. Make your breathing calm and deep here. Loosen up with each breath a little bit more. After your last exhalation, slowly bring the knee back up, straighten the legs out. And bring the knees towards the chest, kind of hugging your own knees. You can rock a bit from side to side to loosen up the spine, loosening up the inner thighs. Keep the breathing calm and deep. Relax. Three more breaths. Then hold your knees with your hands and rock forward and back a couple of times over the spine. And after three or four times, come into a sitting position. Take a little moment to relax. Feel the fruits of your work the blood flow, etc. Take your time. Namaste.